Good morning, everybody. I meant to take you along my morning, but honestly, we had a very busy morning today getting out of the house on time. Sebastian is getting a couple more tattoos this morning, which we're so excited about. We go to a really amazing artist, Mina. I can't remember her last name, but I will leave it down below. And I'll leave her Instagram down below so you guys can check her out. But yeah, the time has come. The appointment time has arrived and we're so excited. So I'm going to go with him this morning. It's downtown and then I have some calls and things I got to do um, afterwards. So we're just going to work at a coffee shop for a little bit just kind of fun we used to do that all the time we can't stay all day because we have mr mo at home but um it'll be fun to have a little morning downtown so come along with us it's yeah it's a crazy morning but we're out the door we're ready to go and i'm excited last time say goodbye to those clean arms Right now, no yeah. longer 17. Oh, have we been around? Years on and a new battle as a sea. So we hear that I still appear inside a dream that we that I still appear inside your sleep. And does he know about our time inside your ramp cycle? And that I'm on the way where the night goes. last night so I didn't get up early enough to do like my reading or my journaling which I love to do in the mornings normally but like I said that didn't happen today um, or this morning but the one thing that is pretty much non-negotiable in the mornings is Mowgli's walk so sometimes it's five minutes before we go sometimes it's an hour um, but we definitely have time for it today we're not very good at this part come here Good boy. Good. That's good boy. We're just gonna do like 30 minutes today, so I'm just gonna wear like an easy slip on. Not really like a hot girl walk moment. It's just more like a dog mom walk where you have all your stuff with you, but it'll do. Okay, now I'm out of my pajamas. It is almost noon and I changed just a little bit. I've just been working at my computer, so I'm nice and like cozy for the day, but um, I threw on like a little bit of like brows and mascara because I have a Zoom call at noon um, with a women's coaching group that I've been in. So I've been doing that for the past, I believe this is our fourth session. So I've really been loving it. We actually have a retreat at the end of the month. Um, for you know to meet everybody and to do more like workshops and trainings and things like that and it has been helping me so much so I just I love it so much I never like I had to miss last Wednesday because we were like on an airplane so that's the only one I've missed but I love doing it every week it just helps me out so much and our coach is amazing and wonderful I will leave some information down below in the description box if you're interested um, it's not anything that's like open at the moment but I can leave like you know her Instagram as well as just some other like resources and tools that I know of so that's what I'm gonna do for a little bit I grabbed a little snack we have an applesauce and 
Fritos chili cheese. I'm sorry, these ones are so amazing. Ow, Mowgli, are you pushing me? Um, we definitely need to go to the store, but Sebastian leaves for his men's retreat. So the retreats or like the coaching groups are actually like linked together. So Sebastian's um, is like a men's one, mine's women, and it's kind of under the same umbrella and it's really nice. So we're kind of working individually, but also improving ourselves as like for our relationship. So I really love that, but he has his retreat this weekend. So he leaves tomorrow until Sunday. Um, so it's like one of those things where I know I need to grocery shop, but it's just gonna be me, so. I don't know. We'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh, but today we're just like scrounging along with like random little snacks, but it's been okay. I needed a bit of a sweet treat. Let me plop you guys somewhere. And I have been obsessed with making these little bites. Let me show you. Um, so I have been making these date bites. They look like this. Actually, it's probably hard to see. They're not the prettiest. <laughs> they really aren't, but you kind of just throw them together. Basically, really? Hold, please. Okay. <laughs> So essentially you just take a date and you cut it in half. You fill it with peanut butter, you put on a couple of chocolate chips, and then you drizzle it with chocolate, stick them in the fridge, and they literally taste just like a Snickers, like a little bite. And I am not someone who, like my main goal is not really to like, if I eat an unhealthy dessert, that's fine with me. Like I really don't care. These, I just really wanted to try them because I hear a lot, sorry, Mowgli's drinking again. He's like very thirsty. Um, I hear a lot about these, so I wanted to try them. And I'm obsessed with them. They're so easy and they're so good and they're also very healthy for the most part. Um, so I'm gonna have a couple of those. And Sebastian needed a coffee, so I'm gonna make him a coffee. Did I mention it's like almost four o'clock? So we are just like whipping through the day. It's going pretty well. Getting a lot done, feeling good. But I wanted to show my little snacks because they're so delicious. Okay, I only changed like two times, but this is what I've settled on for date night tonight. It's just like kind of comfy, but also like glam and kind of cute. So that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna go get sushi and then do something fun. Sebastian pulled his back. <laughs> so we were gonna do either like bowling or, I feel like this never focuses, bowling or golf or something, but he conveniently can't just because he knows Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna win. That's so awkward. That's so lame. I feel awkward. I actually will win. I had back surgery when I was like 18, so. Yeah, but that's not what we're talking about now. So I don't know what we're gonna end up doing. We thought maybe looking at movies, but I'm not really sure what's out. Oh babe, can you give me socks? I had a great day, great day at work. I have an exciting package that came that I'll show you guys a little bit later when we get settled, but we gotta move, we gotta run to be on time. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to eat. I'm so hungry and I'm sad my Momo can't come. How come you don't get to come to date night? See, that's not fair. Oh, it's just stretching. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> I did in fact change my outfit yet again because what did we say we were gonna do? Uh, I don't know. We were gonna do something. Golfing. Maybe, but so I have leggings on, a little crop, and a little blazer to keep me warm, but we've got a like a 15 minute wait at Tsunami. So we're just gonna sit in the parking lot. That's the least amount of time we've ever waited. What? So yeah. 15 minutes, no, least amount of time is zero minutes. We've never waited zero minutes. As a tsunami? Yeah, we've always oh. waited. You see yeah. what I mean? We've always had such a long wait. So it's nice that it's only like 15, 20 minutes. We'll cozy up. And we'll eat some sushi. It looks sick in the range. We're in the range, y'all. Look at that sunroof. I don't, I've never shown them the range, but. Have you told them? No. 
I haven't, but there's our Range Rover. <laughs> you are telling them. So the Give them a, a TED Talk on Story renting time. cars. There's a app called Turo. It's like the Airbnb for cars. And I purchased this Range Rover at the like mid 2021. It was, it was September. And we put it on Turo, essentially for people to rent out this car, just like they would an Airbnb. Bottom line is, this car is way too sensitive and I don't feel comfortable with putting it out. It's material. stressful. It's like mm -hmm. every time we get it, we like inspect it because it's like, yeah. we don't want to have to replace anything on this freaking car. So I don't know why we got this car, but on Turo, they always said like, it's nice to have like luxury cars on there. They do better. So which they do, but this one is just too high maintenance. So way too high maintenance. bottom line is we have this huge car payment and we're not even renting it out. Yeah. So the plan is, eventually sell this car and break even but for now whenever we want to have a good time yeah we'll take her out yeah so because it's sad just to let it sit in our car and we can't sell it right now just because like the market's a little weird and we're we wouldn't really even be breaking even we would lose money so we're just waiting it out till it flattens out just a little bit more and then that means in the meantime we get to drive it a little bit I it's drive fun. it sometimes, but it's like, I'm very stressed, but it is fun. It's a cute car. It feels like a family car. It feels like a special occasion car. No. So we can dream. It feels yeah. like us. Like, it feels like perfect for us. Yeah. Not a family car. This I, is tiny. Have you been back there? I guess that's true. It's Do you know, so tiny. Yeah, I guess not a mom car, but. Or like a, a car for Mowgli. Oh, I don't do think we? I wouldn't want him No, we, you would never put him in here, but. Anyway, so. That's something that should tell you when people were, have nice cars. Yeah, you doesn't never mean that they're balling. Yeah. That's why when you see like people on social media with nice cars and nice houses, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyone can do this. Exactly. Literally so. anyone could buy this car and then put it up and sell. So that's a good reminder. Mm -hmm. Like it's not all, it's not all. And we like our Jetta just as much as we like this car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I do. like this car better. Whatever. I, I, I just feel stressed in this car. So, really? Yeah. No, I, I think I if like it was mine, but the fact that we like there's we just so much have pressure to take care to, of it. Yeah. 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 I'm just no, and the jet is nice because you're just like boom, you crash boom, into stuff fast. all the time. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know. That's that on that. Anyway, that's uh that's my rent. Love it, thank you. <laughs> you guys might not be able to see me, but we finished up dinner it was pretty delicious we got four rolls we kind of only like two of them because we i don't know we have we have our favorite sushi place but we didn't go there tonight so when you go to a new place it's like you know what you like but you want to try new things so anyway we finished up with some ding tea this is my favorite boba spot it's so good it was sebastian's idea to treat me to one so it's very nice it's been a long time since you mm -hmm. had one how is it it's so good. Yeah. Is it, I get the honeydew. No, you just get the honey. The signature is mm, really good. good. It's not super sweet. I really get good. the signature milk tea. Mm. Very good. So now we're, I think I scratched you. Now we're going to pick up some crumble for our sister and brother in law. And then we're going to go help. I don't know. Let's go <laughs> we'll and drive. see. Yeah, we'll see. We were at the sushi place for forever. It's already 8.45, so. Yeah, it was like too long. Yeah, it was kind of a long, but it was really <laughs> fun just to like get to chit chat. Oh, okay, rant, 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 Oh, rant, rant, rant. rant. Dude, okay, so you know when you go to restaurants and then you see the couples that are just on their phones, like they're like the middle-aged couple that mm -hmm. is on their phone. I can't stop staring at them. You guys, you have to leave in the comments. Like Sebastian, <laughs> love it. He's just my curious boy. And I have to remind him like stop looking at people like why do you stare at them it just it just honestly it makes me so sad i know but, but i just i stare i'm a, a people watcher like that's just who i am yeah like i always super. have to make contact i contact with every single person that walks by me mm -hmm. but then i'm looking at this couple and like it was so sad because the wife was literally off her phone looking at the husband yeah and the husband was down literally on instagram I and know. then she'd be like what are you looking at you're like she would say that to him. How sad is that? Yeah, I know. That's what's hard, Lil. You like we we don't know what people are going through or what their situation is. 
But yeah, I totally agree. I couldn't go to a dinner with you if you were gonna be like that. Well, and just imagine like, yeah, maybe 10, 15 years, 20 years later after we're married, we feel like, oh, we don't wanna talk. We're like, dude, that's why marriages fail, in my opinion, because yeah. they're not putting in the effort. It makes me sad. Yeah. And I, I genuinely wanted to say something, but I'm not. No. That's not my place. Yeah, that's not your place. But <laughs> yeah, so. Sebastian's like that. Like he's such a people watcher. I'm not. Like I will especially be like, did you see that 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 that? Like I literally didn't see any of that. <laughs> like I'm not looking. I don't know why. I just am not a looker. But um, so let me know if you are down below because Sebastian his favorite spot is like an amusement park, a crowded mall. <laughs> he's like distracted by all the people. But other than that, it was a very good dinner. We we're nice and full. And do they have Christmas lights? No, thank God. So yeah, we'll probably just drive around, but I'm pretty sure I'll see you guys in the morning. So we'll pick up there. So I believe it's not the next day, but I believe last night I was mentioning, sorry, Mowgli is all over this tripod. Um, I was mentioning that I had an exciting package to share and my sweet friend, Mikkel, she, oh my God. She came out with um, a new brand. So it's called Frankie and Bo, and she came out with a couple of sweatshirts for the fall season. I will have it linked down below if you're interested, but I just picked out this really cute, like dancing skeleton one in a tan color, which is so my vibe for all of my life. I just really like the tan right now. So I'm gonna throw it on because I was went to go get it because I'm freezing and I remembered I was gonna talk about it. So that's very exciting. I'm very proud of her and like of course, hold on. And of course I'm so happy to support her. So um that will be linked down below. They're very soft, they're very cozy and stay tuned for like more um styles and things as like she continues to grow it. So I'm gonna put you guys here because Mowgli is gonna be bouncing all over the place. I'm like in very much of a state because I've just been working and not really worried about like what I'm looking like but I did have to be semi presentable for some things today so <laughs> that's why I look like this um, but it's nearing the end of the day I'm about to go to jazzercise I have that at 5 30 so I do need to leave in just a little bit so we have that which will be nice and then my mom and my little sister are gonna come over we're gonna do dinner we're gonna do dancing with the stars <sighs> I'm scared 2020 dancing with the stars was so tough for me truly because I just like would die for Neve. Like I actually would have died for him. I just loved him. I supported him. I just was totally taken over by him. And then he didn't win. And that just pissed me off. So, like I just, I actually couldn't even believe it because he lost to, I think it was Caitlyn from The Bachelorette or The Bachelor, don't know which one. But like whenever there's The Bachelor, I just cannot stand it because, I mean, oh sorry mom, go get it. It's just, it's unfair. And I just, I actually got so mad. So then I didn't watch last season, which I think was fine because I didn't like any of the cast. And I don't like anybody from the cast this season, but for some reason I want to watch it. I don't know why. I just miss that me and my mom used to watch it. So <sighs> I'm scared. I really am scared. I think it's Charlie that's on, um, Charlie D'Amelio. She's on this season. So it's like, mm, she's going to win. And if she doesn't win, then that's weird because she has like the most volume in terms of following. So I'm just like, I already know I'm not going to like it, but I'm just going to do it for fun. I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to get hurt again. I'm really not. So I have that tonight, which will be fun. And then Sebastian is off to his men's um, mentor group retreat. Thing. So I feel like every time I vlog is when he's gone. I don't know why I've like kind of gotten in that habit But because sometimes I'm like, okay, maybe this will be the time when I do projects or when I like do something For myself that maybe I want to showcase or remember and then sometimes I don't but so I don't know I don't have any big plans. I am seeing a friend on Saturday night, but tomorrow I think it's just gonna be a me and Mowgli day, huh? Sebastian did give me a little present before he goes. He always does that. It's very sweet and very cute, but let me show you what he got me. He got me this mug. Look at that. So this is one of our favorite photos of Mowgli. <laughs> Do you see? Do you see how cute? How cute is that baby? Um, it's our favorite photo of Mowgli. And I no. So I believe he got off of Etsy. So I'll have to ha have him send me the link so I can share it with you guys. So yeah, I just think it's so sweet. I can't even stand that little face. So I'm so excited to have that in the morning. But yeah, it's just going to be me and Mo this weekend, um, which will be fun. And then Sebastian's home Sunday morning. So it'll be nice. I think I want to work on the dresser. I want to finish up our gallery wall. Those are my only two projects because 
If I keep adding things, then nothing will get done. <laughs> so anyway, that is today. I'm really excited to work out. I think I really need it. I think it's gonna be nice and fun to move my body. And then I also have it tomorrow morning. So I've been proud of myself. I've been on that workout kick ever since we've been back from Hawaii. So it feels good. I feel proud of myself and I don't know. Then tonight I can just like chill out. I did watch the new season of the Kardashians. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, but the first episode, really made me cry. Wow, I just feel for Chloe. I'm sorry, but I just really feel for her. So it was a really sweet episode. I really liked it. Um, so I did that while I was working because I just couldn't help myself. I was like, I have to watch it immediately. Um, but that's all for me until I see you at class. Very excited about it. And then who knows what we're gonna do tonight, but it should be fun. Are you just so cozy on those pillows? He loves laying on pillows like this. <laughs> So, yeah, he just loves his pillows. My gosh, you look so serious. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? You look handsome there. Are we going to have fun this weekend? Do you want to say anything? Do you have anything to say? No. Okay. No. I love you. Okay, here's my fit. Literally nothing exciting, but my mom's on my way to pick me up. On her way to pick me up. You guys, this autofocus on the camera. Truly, it drives me insane. I'm so sorry. Um, I probably won't bring my camera, but I'll get some clips on my phone and then we'll be back here. Okay, we are settled in. We've got lots going on. We have doodles here. We have Mr. Momo Mans. <laughs> Momo Mans causing trouble. Mom, say hello. She's making us brownies in the kitchen. Ooh. And we are about to start. What is it called? Dancing with the Stars. My mom is literally taking notes. <gasps> Do you love your Nana? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> he is Mowgli. obsessed with my mom, you guys. Mowgli. Obsessed. Mowgli, guess what? I just want to say, do you want to say I love you? Will do you, you know that I love you? Will you talk? You want... Do it, Mowgli. Hey, Mowgli. Mowgli. <laughs> He's so annoying. Hey, you have your toy. Oh, can you sit? Mowgli, sit. Mowgli. Mowgli. No. Nope. So Stop. Oh, I dropped it. Yeah, you your baby. Hey, Mowgli. Give me it for just no, two he, seconds. No, let me play this toy. Hey, Mowgli, do you know that I love you? Do you know that I love you so much? Oh my God. Do you love you? Yes, he can you loves say I love my mom. You? Tell Nana I love you. Can you say I love you? <gasps> no. I am so... You guys, Sebastian tries every day. It doesn't work. He barked at me. Hey, Mowgli. Mowgli, Mowgli I love you. <coughs> oh, I love you. <coughs> I love you. <coughs> okay. Okay, now he's like literally screaming. Shh. Why are you being... Why are you screaming? Can you say it We're nicely? Quiet. Hey, can you say... <coughs> Say no. quiet. Can you say, I love you? I think he's going through his teenage years. He won't talk to me. Mowgli, Mowgli, I love you. <coughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Get him, baby! Uh -huh. Mogi, I love you. Mogi. Oh! I love you. At least he said it on the vlog. The vlog is yellow. Mogi, do you love your mom? I love you. Kate, that's gonna confuse him. Are you his mom? <laughs> Don't hurt me like that. <laughs> Just kidding. 